How the fuck that happened? Yeah, the fuel pressure regulators back there. Yeah. And the yeah. fender, the fender wells. If you look them, they're they're completely custom. So I got yeah. trailer fender oh, yeah. wells. Yeah. I cut them and wind them out, and then I and then I gap them to the side here, and then mounted them onto here, so they're mounted in there solid. You know what I mean? Great job. Thanks, man. The flush mount lights I have in here. Really like this thing. Once I sell this car, once I sell this car, we're moving. Yeah, we're buying. A, I want to. You know, we're moving, man. That's why I'm moving out in the woods or somewhere where I can have a little bigger garage, man. Well, it's crazy. Because you know, I should. My goal is to get 125 for the car. And I think that's a reasonable number with what I've done, and take that money and parlay it into a place, man. And but I was just at a guy's house. He was the president of <laughs> something like that. I had to go and reattach a, his X Flex bumper or something like that. Dude, it was on a fucking golf course. Like it was right down, like right off of like San Juan or something like that. And dude, you go in, the, you know, you pull in there and he's got two fucking garages. Yeah, oh well, yeah, that's bad. Like so, yeah. fucking, you go in this gate, it's got two garages. I mean, his wasn't the biggest house I've been to, but it's like two garages. When you look through the one garage, there's the golf course back there. And you got a whole nother garage right here. And you got this fucking like English chateau of a house, man. I'm like, what the, golly, man. You know, I, I went to a guy's house down in South Tampa and he owned the fucking block. A fucking block, and I'm talking like, like one of these in South Tampa. Dude yeah. had a concrete brick wall around his. I'm like, where do you, where do I? Which? I was like, man, like, what the fuck did you do? He goes, well, I'm a, I'm a asset manager. I'm like, that means he's using other people's money. I'm exactly. like, I, 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 I'm an asset manager, but my assets aren't quite the same. I don't think, you know, really? I mean, we got different assets we manage here, you know. Yeah, just like Victor said, he's using somebody else's money. Yeah, yeah. man. Oh yeah. So you were, you were looking at this. What it is, is so I kind of cheated on that, right? So when you spray, each time you spray is a little bit different, right? So that's what people are like, like, oh, you know, you paint my bumper, it doesn't look quite great. Well, every time you spray is different, right? Yeah. So what I did with this was I did a bunch of spray outs. I got the, the, the color that I liked, but then you've got to get the, the sparkle that you like. So I used the satin clear. Now, if you spray a satin, it looks like this. It looks like this. Stuff. This is what satin looks like when you spray it like regular clear coat. It looks almost It looks, you know, it's yeah. just, it's just semi-glossy, it's smooth. Yeah. So this, what I did, is I tried a bunch of different ways to spray out. So what I actually did was two kind of mist coats. And when you mist coat like clear, it, the, it makes like essentially sand pebbles, right? And, and each of those sand pebbles got a little bit of a reflection because if you think about it, you know, sun, like on a clear surface, it's just reflection, right? When they're like this, they're kind of reflecting off of each thing. So that's why it looks like really sparkly, yeah. but it's not. And that's why it feels kind of like it's a little bit rough, like, it, like it's dirty but it's not, it's because I put two satin coats of clear on it to give it that little bit of sparkle in the sunlight. That's why like in the wheels, when they're in the sunlight, you're like, man, those kind of, those things really sparkle. That new vet out Sea Wolf Gray looks right. gray, but in the sun, it's got gold in it. Wow, yeah. yeah. I saw a video on it and they pulled it out in the sun. It looks totally different in the sun. So when you say you missed it, just like a, just a really light. Yeah, like a mist coat. So you're like, you know like how when you, when you so when you spray clear, you gotta do it wet, right? So you yeah. gotta, it's gotta be wet. And you gotta like, say you spray here and then you go back over this edge, right? So it's wet, it looks like water, right? Yes. And that's a full, full on wet coat, right? Now a mist coat is like, if you're kind of like just shh, 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 just kind of shh, shh, just kind of, just kind of like, when you look at it, it, it's not smooth. It's like, it's like you didn't get enough coverage kind of deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Think about it like if you're spraying, a, if you're using spray paint and you're spraying like from here, yeah. how it's like just a little bit of stuff landing on there, right? But if you get close, it's wet. wet. That's kind of the difference. You know? But for me, I can control my trigger and I can spray out just a little bit of material with the same amount of air and get the same kind of finish. And you kind of, and I sprayed all of the bronze at the same time. Well, I sprayed the firewall and then I sprayed all this other stuff. You know what I mean? So like the steering, so that's a 2015 Camaro steering. You know, that's a steering wheel out of there. So I had to, I had to cut out the, the steering mount and weld up a bracket in there and then weld it through and then that, so that's why yeah. you know you've got that plate right there and that's the brakes it's all manual brakes and, and the steering is not power either or you do electric the, the, the steering is power yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you it's, could have done electric too that's the newest yeah thing. i would love to have done that yeah. the steering box is actually from a like a 97 jeep wrangler i don't know if you've done that upgrade on yours yet but it's basically a bolt in it's a it's it's a, like a 97 wrangler will literally just bolt right in like yeah the only thing i changed was my uh, my, my power steering the, the whole box, you know. Like down in the frame there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the steering box, yeah. yeah. Your mine, box, yeah. mine went, you know, it was it was just getting sloppy and whatever, so. Right, you went into like a modern steering box? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the same thing as this. They yeah. use, a, there's a company, you probably might use the company, but you can also do a Jeep Wrangler one. I did a Jeep Wrangler one. I still haven't ran the lines. This is just sitting on here, by the way. This is oh, just, really? Yeah, that's this is just sitting on there. Because I still have to, because when I, I had a guy, because like I, 
I can't do structural welding, right? So like I did like this and stuff like that, but I'm I'm deep, 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 deep yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm not TIG welding. But you but know, that, that's, yeah, that looks good. That's decent. Yeah. You, you know, I'm getting always, better at it. You, you know, you what can mean? always. Well, that's how oh, it is. This is what I did the other day, right here. Yeah. So. But this will get ground down in the wall, right, you won't yeah. see any of it. You know, what you mean? can pull it out and have it. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, uh, and that's why I'm wrapping them too because it's like <laughs> my weld isn't quite there yet. You know what I mean? But we got a brand new miller at work. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bummer about your AC compressor. I mean, your your AC your shop. Yeah. Man, you that's the that's the second time you've replaced it since I've been. Cause I remember the one failed that one time. Right. That and one then I got up right. I ordered all the parts and because of COVID it took six months. Put it together. Fucking ran perfect. 15 minutes later, I, I don't know if the relay went or if it froze up, and I said, you know, I can't take, I can take pressure, I can't take that kind of pressure, you know what I mean, where you don't have fucking air, and you're in the tire business, you know what I mean, yeah. I call the snap on guy, I go, I don't give a shit where you're at, go home, give me a goddamn compressor, I don't care if it's the biggest one, the only one you got, bring it, and he did, he showed up for a week, took it off, so I've got them on the AC slabs, okay, my buddy brought me eight full AC slabs, that's the best way to put them down, yeah, because the other one they're you had, like, ground. on the board, you were yeah. going to do it, and you never did, and then right, it fell, up. yeah, he's been telling me about this car for three yeah. years, this is like, this is the Blows me away, man. Thanks, man. Well, he had actually that. seen it on YouTube. Yeah. The first time I mentioned it, we were at a walk-ons. Remember? You yeah. Go, oh, I saw that. Yeah, that was so cool, man. Yeah. I, so I made the firewall myself. I I did overlay it, but you know, I'm not. This is a show car. This isn't like. And I I did use a, a weld through primer on the back side. You know, it, it's you know there, there's always you know multiple ways to skin a cat, right? So yeah. you know it's like people are like, oh, you should have cut it out. I'm like, well, I don't. My my welding isn't quite that level yet. You know what I mean? Like so, I know that it's it's mostly cosmetic. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I wanted it smooth and all the little patching and stuff like that. It just so like the vintage air, I welded in the studs for the vintage air, ground them down this side so you don't see them through here. You know because like it's like you're doing all that work and then you're showing all that stuff. It's like ah, oh, that's kind of shitty. You know what I mean? So yeah, I still have to. I had to. I have to because like when I had this guy weld up the, the headers, dude, that's what I was getting to was I didn't feel comfortable because I had it. So you're wondering like you're like you know for one there's no, nothing on this car that's not touched right even the headers. So the headers they stuck out further and I didn't like that. Plus headers are always equal length because they're the same right. So when you do that on an LS they're staggered right. So this one would have been out to about here and this one would have been out to about here. So what I did is I chopped them off. As far as I, I, I said, okay, this is the shortest one. So let me move this back as far as I can to where it's close to the engine as possible. Did that, and then I matched this one, so it's all symmetrical across here. Even like my valve covers. So when you look at the valve covers, you know motors are like this. Mm -hmm. Well, not my valve covers. They're not. Fuck no. They're they're lined up exactly, exactly. So when you look across it, they're they're straight. They're yeah. not like staggered. You know, right, if you look right, on right. most cars, you know, and it always just. Those little things just bothered me. So I'm like, you know what? It's my car. I can build it how I want to. You know what I mean? That's the beauty of it, right? I mean, I know. Every time I look at it, I see something different. I'm like, how the hell did he do that? How did he think to do that? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It's, that's why it's taken so long. You know, it's like, you know, for instance, like I, I originally had the original core support and it was just so rusted. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy a new core support. That was after I had already done mock up and I took the car apart. So I put the new core support on. Well, now it's different. So now I gotta readjust everything, you know what I mean? And then when I put the intercooler in there, it was slightly different. So then I had to I had to cut this, this inner tube pipe, I had to cut it and it, and weld on a piece about an inch and a half to make it work right, you know? Because I was like, you motherfucker, man. You know? And it was like you know, you make some adjustment or you do something and yeah. it affects something else, you know. Yeah, we found so everything on the on the Sonoma. That's oh yeah, we fabbed all of it. I know that's crazy, man. It was like you're always doing something to that to that thing, man. Those things are monsters, though, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's you know, it's like all the bolts are, you know, the of course the bolts are welded flush to the bumper. Yeah. You know, the only thing there's a couple things that I wish I like, you know, like you, I feel like it's kind of like you know, even you, like when you buy certain tires, you're gonna be like, you know what, next time I'm gonna get, well, there's this new tire, you know, there's this new wheel. There's just new parts in my car, you know? So like the one thing I feel like I did that I should not have done is, you know, this is all structural steel with some body filler on it, of course, but I didn't. So when I had it on the car, I started, I did all the body work on the car and I took it off and I realized that I didn't cut the back side of the bumper like where the plates kind of, because I, I just stick the plate in there and kind of weld it. And I didn't go through and cut those off. So if you look on the back side, there's some plates kind of, you know, but I'm yeah. like, you know, it could, it could look a little better, but I'm like, you know, there's always, there's always more, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. You know, like yeah. people, people oh, watch yeah. these TV shows. Thanks, man. It's just when you, when you, if it's on a lift and you look up there, you'll see. You know yeah. what I mean? Like if it's that just, ain't gonna happen. 
I know, you know what I mean? But it's just like, you know, it's like, you know. But you know about it. And it's yeah, like, you yeah. know, when we did our wrap, what we did is when we got to the end, right. we drilled a hole and put a, a ribbon, in, ribbon it? in it and then welded the top, the end of the ribbon. That's how that part's done. Genius, man. Right? Yeah, there's no clamps, no nothing. It's all riveted. It makes a big difference. And that's the other thing. Like when I wrap mine, if you look, these wraps are almost symmetrical. The 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 white the, the bands even. It's the lip. It's all those little things, man. That's like it's like oh man, you know what I mean? It's like oh okay, you know it's uh. It's, I can't wait to go for a ride. I know, man. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Me too. It fired up on my buddy's engine stand. I I, I yeah, said you that. Yeah. It, you know, so I know that it runs. That's why I wasn't. That's why I was comfortable painting it all as a, as an assembled unit. You know what I mean? Yep. And it's running a Holly Terminator Max X or X Max, whatever it is, because that that controls the 4L80E. You know. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's coming along now, though. I mean, you know, I, I I've got to do these these. It's all PTFE line, which is a real pain in the ass for me. I quite have, haven't quite figured out how to do them easily, you know what I mean? The, the regular AN lines with the rubber inside is, is easy, but the PTFE with that hard inner liner. Oh, I'm making me so mad I want to kick a puppy right now. And then I've got to figure out some solution for my my radiator hose because it's got to go like that. Yeah. So I was originally thinking about going through there, but I'm like, that's just a whole heat cycle. That's just going to heat up that stuff even more. So that's not going to work, you know what I mean? So I want to try to, I don't know if I'm going to probably, I might have somebody weld yeah. on like a, a, like cut it right here and put a 90 here so it'll kind of go like this. That would be good. Yes. Because yeah. like, because I feel like gonna be able to, you're not going to be able to come straight out here like that. So yeah. I feel there. like, you know, like I just, you know, so, but it's, it's all these little things. Like I just got my, my bung for my, my uh, air temperature sensor. And that's what I was working on this morning. Like to try to fit that thing in there is like so fucking ridiculous. You know, I have a little, little piece of, of wood that I was using as like a template to kind of judge where to put it. Yeah. Cause it's like this long and I was, I originally put it there, but I'm like, well, that would work. The only problem is, is that then where's my water heater, my, my water feed gonna go? Yeah. I'm like, okay, so now I gotta put it over here somewhere. It's like, you know, it's like, it's like I ran the, the oil drain line on this side, but then I, you know, on both sides, but that side was already shined. So then I ran this side, and then when I ran the pipe that goes under here, it's right in the fucking way. And I'm like, okay. so now I gotta redo that line, you know what I mean? And the lines that came with the kit to run for the oil feed, they're way too short. Yeah, they're like, you know, they're from like a 240 with, with a turbo sitting right here, you know? And it's like, no, nah, that's not gonna work, man. Any lines you need, maybe we've got that guy in Plant City, the hydraulic place, they can build anything. Oh yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely gonna, I'll, I'll definitely they're, they're, they're good. They're really good. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm not even gonna they're bother. They're right down the street from me. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, all this wire is gonna be hidden too. This is just like the, the, the drive-by wire. Cable. I've got a, I've got this special kind of like bulkhead thing that goes along the front. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run my wiring right through the back. That little dip in there. I'm gonna one run my wiring right through there. I'm gonna drill a two and three quarter inch hole and run the wire right down there. So it'll run inside these valve covers. Sure. And you won't see it, and then it'll run down the back of the motor. So what I want is when you look at the motor to really not see any, any wiring. I, you know, I, I can't hide this because, but I will wrap that with, with uh, that, blue, that black tape. You know that I forget the name of the tape. It's that black, that special black tape. It's a Tessa tape. This stuff right here. It's like a fabric. I love this oh, stuff. Oh yeah, yep. Just so much nicer than regular electrical tape, man. So it'll be, it'll be, you know, it, it won't be something that's glaring, you know. So it's, it's just, man. It's nice, uh, you know. Honestly, it's nice when people come by and they're like, man, like you did a nice job. You know what I mean? Like that, it feels good, you know. Because Absolutely. when you're, there's a point when you're building this, like you don't feel like you're doing much, and for so long it just looks like a shit box, you know. Until a the, long way since I saw it. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. And even the littlest jobs take a lot of time, you know. So. You yeah. Know, like I said, once you do one thing, you know, sometimes it affects another thing, and. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you know that. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it's fun, man. Fantastic. To me, it's fun, you know? Like, yeah. for me, this is my, like, you know, now it's 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 kind of a mixed bag because, like, now I'm getting, now I'm able to see stuff like fun. This is the first, honestly, this is the first time I put all the engine bay panels on here to kind of see what it looks like. Yeah. It was today, just because Beck was coming over. I'm like, you know what? Let me have it, let me have a nice dramatic entrance for him, you know what I mean? When he comes and sees it, you know what I mean? Because without the panels, it just looks like, you know what I mean? But they're like, so there's a stud that mounts sure. here. You be before you paint it. Yeah, yeah, I, I love the before I mean, because then you can see like it's metal, you know what yeah. I mean? It's just really cool then, you know, and there's a little, the, 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 made a the jewelry box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, there's a little stud that goes right here that mounts the fenders. That's how they, that's all the mounting here. And they kind of, 
wedge in here, you know. So I'll put some 3M, that kind of like that clear tape, so because when they so that when the, if they rattle, it won't scratch the paint. Is it double sided? Or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like the, the clear kind of film, like 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 my neighbor must be getting a new windshield. Yeah, yeah. I see it. I need to talk to him see if he'll install my last one. Oh, that's the other thing. So this whole so this whole car was completely rusted out. Just to be clear, I mean like even like the window frames, all that stuff, they were all completely rusted out. I fabricated all that, man. I had problems getting my windshield. They don't want to touch them. Yeah, they don't want to touch it. Yeah. You gotta find somebody that specializes in all the even on even on my my like my escape in 01, the guy goes, Oh, you got rust here. I said, dude, here, look, it's gone. You know, get the fuck out of here. Put the fucking windshield in and I'm not, don't worry about a warranty. Just put the fucking windshield in. They're yeah. they're always trying to find a way to not warranty something, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was surface yeah. rust. Spray it and then put the thing in there and never be there again, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Bullshit. They didn't want to touch it. Yeah. Insurance company didn't fuck at all paying for it. Hard to find somebody to do glass. Yeah, I gotta drive up to MPD to get my my glass because they want like two fifty to ship it. I know, but like Ocala, yeah, they were like an hour and fifteen minutes they away. Had, yeah, right on the interstate. I've and it's like you know, it's not too bad. So you get I get you a job up that way. What's that? I get you a job. I know. Right? I go up there, make money, and get it. <laughs> I did a job in Sarasota one time, and I was bird watching because I was like, "There's actually a bird." The guy called me up. I'm like, "You know, there's a bird right there that I need to see anyway." So I was like, "Yeah, I'll do that job, and then I'll go see the bird." So I'm actually getting paid to drive down and see this bird. You know what I mean? That was funny. You took pictures of how many and stuff. Yeah, I was a bird chaser for a while. I yeah. set a state record in 2017. Yeah. Wow. People most land wherever they were. You know? Yeah, man. All I did, Victor probably was like, man, my customers aren't fucking getting their callbacks. He's out chasing birds. Yeah, he's in the woods looking yeah, for a, a woodpecker. You know, that's me, man. I always have some kind of obsession. You know, yeah. something that's just chicken so in my brain. So you did portable right? painting? Is that what you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you scratch your bumper, I come right to the house, fix it right there. Oh, really? Maybe you can come and fix some of my scratches. I'm sure I can, <laughs> yeah. That's how me and Vic became friends. Yeah. He had a little scratch a long on time ago. He had, I don't know how but long. It started you... out with the Maserati. No, it was the, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And then, because and, she was, what she bought before she had the Maserati was the Chrysler 200. The blue one that uh, she fucking scratched that thing every other week. I mean, she had the fucking craziest story too. I, I mean, know, a some, hurricane, a tornado. Yeah, uh, yeah, a fucking driving by a tornado through a car, <laughs> a, a chair hit the side of her car. Yeah. Like, what the fuck does that happen in Florida? <laughs> really? You know what I mean? That you was in the neighborhood. Dude. I know. I tell when I'm in that neighborhood, I tell people about it all the time. I'm like, man, you know, I did this customer's car. It's right like, at the what? entrance. Yeah, there's man. like a circle. I go, go by. Like, I think it was by the tennis court. And I go by that tennis court like yeah. a lot of times. I was there yeah, right there. Earlier this week, you know, like last week, I was there. Yeah, it's uh, Brand new. All right, man, you ready? Yeah. All right, man. All right, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah. A while ago. See you. Yep. Need anything, Okay.